Hey, I'm Tommy Thacker with Timney Triggers, and today we're going to show you how to install a two-stage AR trigger. All you'll need for this install is some type of Allen wrench or screwdriver to remove your grip of your choice, and the tools provided with you in the package from Timney. After we're clear, we're going to invert the rifle. I like to place it on the table, and you're going to push your takedown pins out to the side. Sometimes they require a little more force, so you can use a tool to get them started. Once your takedown pins are to the side, they're captured, you can't lose them in the field, your lower receiver comes off. This is the part we're going to do the trigger install on. Now that we have our lower receiver assembly, we're going to remove the grip. You're going to remove the grip by taking the grip screw out. removing the grip. You want to be sure that you capture your springs so that you don't lose that. You're going to need that for the reinstall. You also have a detent. This detent needs to be set aside so you don't lose it. Now that we have the grip removed, we're going to open our package. And we'll take a look at all the contents. You get an Allen wrench for final insulation, and we'll use that to take the uh, pins out for the trigger. You get an insulation instructions, Timney trigger, a nice little statement about who we are. So now we're going to remove the hammer pin first by pushing across, across and dropping it out the opposite side. It's under some spring tension, so be careful. We'll set that off to the side, and then we're going to make the trigger pin, same thing. Push it out to the side, and all your components will fall out in your hand. We'll set those off to the side as well. Now we're going to show insulation of your new Timney two-stage trigger. You simply drop it into the receiver, you insert your safety, and now you're going to install your trigger pins. They will drop in with no force needed at all. We're going to use our Allen wrench to tighten our set screws. few turns to lock in place, but you want to make sure that you're keeping your trigger pins in a proper position as you tighten down the trigger, because it'll lock those pins in place and they won't move. Once that's completed, you repeat the process on the other side. Now that you've locked your trigger in place, we're going to replace the grip. First thing you want to do is take the detent place it into your receiver. Once you have that in place, your spring, it's best to put it inside the grip. Then slide the grip into place. We can cut it right Turn this around. When reinstalling the grip, you want to make sure that your spring does not get bent out of shape. So take your time, slowly press it into place. Once it's in place, all we have to do is come back, tighten your grip screw, Take them pins out, take your upper assembly, lay it on the table, invert the lower assembly, press your pins back into place, take your operation, safety function check. Now you have a new trigger installed in your rifle. Now with your upper and lower receiver assemblies together, we'll do a safety check, a function check on the trigger, reset. Now with your new Timney trigger installed, get out to the range and have some fun. For more information, go to timneytriggers.com and check us out on Facebook.